Just a regular house on the outside, but what was inside it was just very scary. Being that small and not knowing what was inside that house and not like knowing what a ghost was, it was really scary. I was only like five years old and we lived in that house for about two years. Basically like two years living in fear. Like, we weren't even, like, comfortable in our own home, so it was very scary. So the upstairs room, you would get, like, a weird feeling going up there. You know, it's just, like, you can't explain it. And then it always be, like, so cold in that room. This was mine and my sister's bedroom, and this was the most haunted room. And I had to get out of there. So my sister and I shared a room. But I really didn't like sharing with her anyways because she was kind of mean and she probably wouldn't even protect me anyways and how could she protect me from ghosts? So the closet that we had in our room, I was so scared. I never wanted to open that door just because I did not know if something would like jump out at me. So I would always stay away. In that room I would always hear like a ball bouncing and there'd be nobody up there. And then I also, also hear something drop on the floor. You can even hear the dog barking at something downstairs, like, you just didn't want to go down there either. So to find out that it was actually a woman haunting the place, she had died in that house. I would just be so happy to get out of that house just for a little bit. So this was the living room where we basically stayed. We did not want to go back upstairs. The room was so scary that my sister even slept in the kitchen on two hard wooden chairs because we just would not sleep back up there anymore. And my brother, he slept downstairs with me. He slept on the couch, so that was his new bed. My bed downstairs as well because nobody was going to sleep up there anymore. Mm -hmm. So one day, I had got really, really sick. Yeah. Something would be in the room and I it was like this little boy and I'm like go back and he's like come on come and please me and I'm like no I'm not going to and he just like me come on come play with me so all you can see is just this little tiny boy that kept saying come on let's go and I'm like no I'm not going with you I said, come on, let's go. And I knew that was the ghost, and he was so white, you can see right through him. So I ran to my mom and dad's room, and I told him what was going on. My mom was just like, Lord, please do not take my baby. Please don't take her. She's not ready to go. So when she started praying, it was gone. When my mom said that we were moving, oh, I was, so, I was just so happy to get out of that place and never come back. After we moved out, my cousin moved in with um, his mom's friends and they had some experiences in that house too after we left. So actually, the ghost was pretty mad that we left in the first place. So crazy things started happening in that. He even said after we left that you can hear somebody like running up to the bedroom and then just like slamming the door. That sounds scary. That never happened when we were there either. He said even the washer and dryer would just like turn on by itself. I would not ever go back there again. That place was just... Anybody that is in the Illinois area wants to check out that house, let me know down below and I will give you the address. <laughs>